Did you know that you can use AI to create awesome presentations? Well, in this video, I'm going to review a product called Dectopus that does exactly that. I'm going to show you exactly how to use the product, what kinds of results you can get with Dectopus AI, what are the key features, how they work, how I would make my AI presentations even better, and whatnot. So if you want to take your presentations to the next level using AI, make sure to watch all the way until the end. And by the way, if you want to, you can just follow along by watching this video so you don't have to repeat these actions. But if you want to try this product, make sure to head over to dectopus.com and use my link in the description to get there because there you will find the best offer. Now to create a presentation with Dectopus, all you really need to do is describe the presentation for the AI and generate it. So you don't have to do anything like creating text, taking images, adding images, formatting the content. You can just literally tell the AI what you want to do. So for example, I can tell that I want to create a presentation about the history of programming. And then I just hit generate my presentation. Then just sign up. Then once you have signed up, the AI analyzes the content or the presentation idea that you just entered. So for example, I had the history of programming as the title of my presentation. So it instantly can tell that this is probably geared towards computer science students, software developers, technology enthusiasts, or somebody like that. So now your goal is to choose the most accurate option out of this list. So you want to let the AI know what you want to accomplish. You want to essentially get the AI to know what your target audience is, what your presentation should look like. So it could be completely different, for example, for computer science students than, for example, when you're talking to people that are just interested in technology or technology enthusiasts. So I'm going to click on next. And then you can also describe what is your main goal of this presentation. So you can type something in here so you can describe literally in words in the similar way you would describe it to your friend or to somebody who's going to write that deck. But you can also choose one of these options. So for instance, this time I'm going to use this middle one. So highlight key milestones in programming history with interactive visual aids. Then once you have done that, it will take about 15 seconds for the AI to render the outline for your presentation. So these are the main kind of talking points or the main kind of slides for your presentation. And you can once again change these, you can remove one of them, you can add something into the mix as well. But for the sake of simplicity, I will run with this one. So then I'm going to click next once again. And now, last but not least, you are going to choose your style. So for instance, I think that I want to create a creative presentation. So let's ro roll with that and let's click on generate. And now this part will take a while. So this will probably take at least one or two minutes for the AI to render the presentation. So this is where the AI does all the magic behind the scenes. So it's going to add all these images. It's going to generate the text. It's going to generate these sub talking points so it's going to generate more slides than just the five or six that you saw in the main outline section so it's going to do all of that stuff so that's why it's taking a while alrighty so after a while i would say that for this one for example it took like two minutes three minutes so after a while you're going to see your presentation here in the main dashboard so just click on it to start seeing what it looks like and now this is the first time that I'm going to see the presentation. So remember, this is all AI generated. So none of the text, none of these icons, none of these images are placed there by myself. It's all thanks to the awesome magical powers of AI. So now when you have rendered your first version of the presentation, you can see some issues in it for sure. So for example, the very first thing that I pay attention to is that this text is overlapping with this icon over here. So now what I can do is simply click on this element and I can drag and drop it anywhere where I want or I can resize it as I need. And once you click some of these objects, you're going to see this left-hand side panel. So you're going to see all these formatting options. You can force the text to be somewhere in a specific spot in this in this slideshow and then you can obviously change the like the 
font style, you're going to see bolding, you're going to see italics here. Just highlight it all if you want to do that. So for example, if I want to itali italicize this text, I can highlight it and put it like that. And I think the bolding is actually not an option because this is a heading. You can change the font size here as well. You can change the color here so we can use something like yellow if we want to. And also you can change the opacity. So if you have a really cool background that you don't want to cover entirely, you can put your text with a slight opacity factor of let's say 80 or 70 so that the background will shine through. So feel free to experiment with these features right here. And yeah, basically this is the simple workflow here. So you're going to click on these elements. You can click on this, you can highlight the text, you can delete it if you don't want. You can add some more content to it if you want to. And this is very basic. So I think there's not much else to say. And actually, I would say one more thing that even though this is an AI presentation maker, so it did all of this with AI, you actually have these really good capabilities for creating these traditional presentations. So as you can see, the controls over here are very comprehensive. You have all these like element libraries that you can use. You can add these icons, GIF files, images, logos. You can add all these things that might be of interest to your audience and that might belong to a pitch deck, presentation, portfolio, or whatever it is. So this is actually, even without the AI features, this is a superb platform. So you, you can just use it as a traditional presentation maker and it would still do a stellar job. But yeah, then one more thing that I want to highlight here before moving on to the next cool feature is these images. So if you click one of these images, and this is actually a bit confusing because it's not going to highlight it. But now if I click on this image, you can see that this left hand side changes a bit. So you can click on the search media button if you want to find stock images or images that you have uploaded. Or you can use this create with AI feature. And with this create with AI feature, you can actually describe the image that you want to see. So for instance, here I have typed a computer in a dark room. And now if I hit generate, it should replace this image that I'm seeing right here on the right hand side of the slide number three with a computer in a dark room. So if you're not satisfied with some of these images, you can generate more. And of course, you can use the search media option as well. So as you can see, here we have a really nice looking computer in a dark room, just as I want it. And you can create these as many as you want. So if this is not accurate, if this is not looking like something you want to use, you can just regenerate it. Perhaps the overall impression when I'm looking at this presentation right now and these images and stuff is that Although it's impressive and although it looks really nice and promising to me, one thing I don't like is that this looks very generic. So you can see that the language is basic. These images are very like generic. You can, if you have some kind of AI background or AI enthusiasm in yourself, you're probably instantly going to see that these are AI generated images. And what this means that is that if you're presenting this kind of a presentation to a specific type of audience, they might lose interest simply because they can see that, okay, the author didn't basically put any time or effort in it. They just generated this with AI. So, so all I'm trying to say here is that you should pay really close attention to the text and to the, especially to the facts that you're seeing in these presentation slides, because as you might remember, as you might already know, the AI cannot really think. It is not capable of adding any real value. It's just repeating what's already out there in the internet. And it's sometimes sometimes making mistakes in a very convincing tone of voice. So for example, here we have these year numbers and these associated topics. I would definitely need to check these ones out, whether they make sense or not, because these might very well be factually incorrect. And also one thing you can see is that while some of these presentation slides have information, so for example here, it describes what programming is. At the end of the slideshow, you're going to see, where, where was it? For example here, it's going to see, explore the pivotal roles of Ada Lovelace, Alan Turing, and Grace Hopper. So here, instead of actually showing or telling who these people are or what they did, it's actually giving me an idea 
what I should talk about in this slide. So you might want to edit it out as well. So you don't want to leave instructions in your slideshow if you're going to present it. So although the Outlook looks, looks really nice, all these quotes, all these titles and text formattings look really nice, you still need to pay close attention to what you're writing and that you're making the proper edits to make sure that the slideshow is consistent, comprehensive, easy to understand and not too generic. So for example, if I was going live with this kind of a presentation, I would at least some of these AI images, I would replace with images that I have taken by myself because these look pretty generic and boring. But yeah, now let's try something different. So one of the other cool features of Dectopus is if you head over to your main dashboard and click create with AI, you can actually import a PDF file into this view. So for example, here I have a short essay that I wrote about programming. And now if I want to turn this one into a slideshow, it will take quite a while, especially if I'm somebody who hasn't really tried out or created slideshows in the past. So now this is, I think, one of the best features of this product. So I can just literally, well, first I need to click on this import your PDF file, but now I can just literally drag and drop a PDF here into the mix and then let the AI turn that PDF, that essay that lives in the PDF into a full-blown slideshow, which is awesome. And once again, you need to specify your target audience. So for example, this time let's do computer science students. And then also you should tell your aim or what you want to accomplish with this slideshow. But then once again, just just the template and generate the presentation. This once again going to take a while. In fact, I think that it took a bit longer last time I tried it when I created the presentation with an existing PDF than when I was creating it from scratch. But nonetheless, it's going to take like two to three minutes and then you're going to see the presentation once again. Alrighty, so now I have created the presentation. So once again, it's going to land here somewhere in the dashboard. Just click on let's start. And now we can actually compare. So let's open up the PDF first. So this is the essay that I had. And this is what the AI turned into this. So as you can see, it's pretty incredible. It has taken all the main points and key takeaways of my essay and turned it into this really nice looking smooth presentation that I can almost present as is to my audience. And of course, the issue still is that you need to make all these edits here. So as you can see, if we take a look at some of the text, mastering programming empowers individuals to create software, automate tasks, and understand technology's core. It offers valuable skills for navigating the modern digital world. Well, although I think that this is true, it's also very generic. So this, when you are creating a presentation, you want to use these short sentences, perhaps even bullet lists. You don't want to add this kind of a like a 20, or 15 word sentence that uses all these fancy words and tries to make you sound smarter than what you actually are. So these are definitely something that I would edit out. So yeah, overall, I would say now that I read these slideshows and now that I have seen a couple of these, I would say that these are really good when it comes to getting inspiration. So you can definitely use the template. You can definitely use some of these images and you can even use some of these titles, but this is kind of a, almost like a blueprint that you can rely on. So for example, this slide looks really good, but if you dig deeper into it, you can see that the text is off. So you need to make these edits, but for sure, this is going to save you a whole bunch of time because imagine turning a presentation like this into something like this without AI, something like 15, 17 slides, right? So it's going to take a whole bunch of time if you're doing it from scratch. So I would definitely use this as my blueprint. And yeah, as I mentioned before, last but not least, you can always start your slideshow from scratch. So if you want to do that, just click on the start from scratch button here at the dashboard, then just choose your template. For example, I can go with the retro, then choose the sub template, for example, Liverpool retro, and then just click on slide or add slide, whatever it said here. Yeah, add slide. 
and then choose one of these slide layouts. You can also see the shared with me option, which is coming soon, and also the custom layouts. Or for example, I'm going to go with this text plus image option. And now you have a slide for yourself and you can then hit on this plus icon to add more of these into the slideshow. And as you can see, this is just a regular presentation maker software right now. So now I'm not using AI. But then of course, if you want to, you can always turn on these AI features. So for example, if you don't like this image, you can ask the AI to create an image. Or if you don't like the text, you can either write it yourself or you can ask the AI. And by the way, one thing that I forgot to mention is that you can actually use this create tips feature as well. So in fact, I think that it's not available for this particular slideshow because it doesn't have any text yet. It just has these templates. But you can click this create tips. We can actually see if we can do that with the other presentation. Yeah, here we can see, for example, here we have these programming related slides as I created those before. Now, if I click on create tips, you're going to see all these AI generated tips that you can incorporate to your slideshow to make it more compelling and more enjoyable and more digestible. And these tips are usually pretty decent. Once again, this is not rocket science. You shouldn't take these tips like something that is set in stone, but you should think of these more like a informal instruction or a suggestion that you can apply at least in some form or shape into your presentation. Overall, I would say it's an awesome tool, but as you can see, it has its shortcomings as well. So first and foremost, the UI is a bit slow. It might take even up to five minutes for you to generate these slideshows sometimes, although for me it took only like two to three minutes. But then also these images and these pieces of text are somewhat generic. So you can't just present a slideshow as is even if you created, created one with the information from one of your PDFs or essays. So yeah, it requires a lot of editing as well. And on top of all of this, this tool is perfect because it has this start from scratch option. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to use AI at all, you can still create these super elegant and nice looking slideshows with these templates that come built in with this software. So even if you ditch the AI altogether, this would still be probably one of your go-to presentation tools because of all these cool little templates and elements and all these other features. So without wasting any more time, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video.